What is Project Unspeakable? Liberating the Truth Through Live Theater. <clears throat> the term conspiracy theory, an invention of the CIA. From the Reverend Douglas Wilson, member of the core group of Project Unspeakable. Having read JFK and the Unspeakable several years ago, I've been thinking about assassinations for quite a while, and I've seen how conspiracy theory is used to shut off debate, to signal that we're entering the unspeakable zone. So I began to wonder if the, if the use of the term conspiracy theory might be a conspiracy itself. That's an interesting idea. So I went exploring, and surprise, surprise, there is a 1967 CIA memo that puts forward a great many of the commonly heard rebuttals to the Warren Commission report. The CIA owned over 250 media outlets in the 1960s, spent close to a billion dollars in today's dollars, spreading information, and had people doing its bidding in every major city in the world so it's not surprising that they were able to disseminate this idea. The issue, and the issue is contemporary too, it's just not just historical. Cass Sunstein is a powerful Obama administration insider whose new book, Conspiracy Theories and Other Dangerous Ideas, is a sophisticated apology for the established order. The last of this series of articles is the CIA 1967 memo itself. <clears throat> CIA document 1035-960, Foundation of a Weaponized Term, from Memory Hole. Conspiracy theory is a term that at once strikes fear and anxiety in the hearts of most every public figure particularly journalists and academics. Since the 1960s, the label has become a disciplinary device that has been overwhelmingly effective in defining certain events off limits to inquiry or debate, especially in the United States, raising legitimate questions about dubious official narratives destined to inform public opinion and theory and thereby public policy, is a major thought crime that must be cauterized from the public psyche at all costs. Jeez, guys. Conspiracy theories actually, negative connotations, may be traced to liberal historian Richard Hofstadter's well-known fusillades against the New, York, uh, the New Right. Yet it was the Central Intelligence Agency that likely played the greatest role in effectively weaponizing the term. In the groundswell of public skepticism toward the Warren Commission's findings on the assassination of JFK, the CIA sent a detailed directive to all of its bureaus titled, Countering Criticism of the Warren Commission Report. The dispatch played a, de a definitive role in making the conspiracy theory term a weapon to be wielded against almost any individual or group, calling the government's increasingly clandestine programs and activities into question. This important, important memorandum and its broad implications for American politics and public discourse are detailed in a book by Florida State University political scientist Lance DeHaven-Smith, Conspiracy Theory in America. Dr. DeHaven-Smith devised the state crimes against democracy concept to interpret and explain potential government complicity in such events as Gulf of Tonkin incident, the major political assassinations of 1960s, and 9-11. CIA document 1035-960 
was released in response to the 1976 FOIA request by the New York Times. The directive is especially significant because it outlines the CIA's concern regarding the whole reputation of the American government via v the Warren Commission report. The agency was especially interested in maintaining its own image and role as it contributed information to the Warren investigation. The memorandum lays out a detailed series of actions and techniques for countering and discrediting the claims of the conspiracy theorists so as to inhibit the circulation of such claims in other countries. For example, approaching friendly elite contact, contacts, especially politicians or edit, and editors, to remind them of the Warren Commission's integrity and soundness should be prioritized. He charged, the charges of the critics are without serious foundation. The document reads, and, quote, further speculative discussion only plays into the hands of the communist op opposition, unquote. <coughs> Pardon me. The agency also directed its members to employ propaganda assets to negate and refute the attacks of the critics. Book reviews and feature articles are particularly appropriate for this purpose. 1035-960 further delineates specific techniques for countering conspiratorial arguments centering on the Warren Commission's findings. Such responses and their coupling with the... Oh, God, what is that word? Pejor pejorative label have been routinely wheeled out in various guises by corporate media outlets, commentators, and political leaders to this day against those demanding truth and accountability about momentous public events. No new significant evidence has emerged which the Warren Commission did not consider. Critics usually overvalue particular items and ignore others. Conspiracy on a large scale often suggested would be possible to conceal in the United States. Critics have often been enticed by a form of intellectual pride. They, they light on some theory and fall in love with it. Oswald would not have been any sensible person's choice for a co-conspirator. Such vague accusations as that. More than ten people have died mysteriously during the Warren Commission's inquiry can always be explained in some natural way. Example. The individuals concerned have, for the most part, died of natural causes. Oh, these guys are good at covering up. Today more, than it, today, more so than ever, news media personalities and commentators occupy powerful positions for initiating propaganda activities closely resembling those set out in 1035-960 against anyone who might question state-sanctioned narratives in contra of controversial and poorly understood occurrences. Indeed, as the motives and methods encompassed in the document have become fully internalized by intellectual workers and operationalized through such media, the almost uniform public acceptance of the official accounts concerning unresolved events such as the Oklahoma City uh, bombing, 9-11, and most recently the Sandy Hook Elementary Massacre is largely guaranteed. The effect on academic and journalistic inquiry into ambiguous and unexplained events that may, in turn, mobilize public inquiry, debate, and action has been dramatic and far-reaching. One need only look to the rising police state and and evisceration of, civ of civil liberties and constitutional protections as evidence of how this set of subtle and deceptive intimidation tactics has profoundly encumbered the potential for future independent self-determination 
and civic empowerment. And we'll leave it at that. All right. CIA document 1035-960. Conspiracy theory, an invention of the CIA.